Hey everybody, Shama32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the third episode of Season 4 of Red Dwarf. This one is entitled Justice. Now, apologies for this being a bit late. Obviously, it's Christmas week, so things are kind of all over the place. My head's getting overloaded quite a lot. And it's just I haven't had the time to edit as much. And I definitely haven't had the time to film when I usually would either, because my daughter's home. And my other half's working a lot, so it's a bit been a bit difficult. But last week's episode was an absolute classic. I hadn't really worked out what it was from the title, but as soon as we got into it and like I was recognising some things and like going, hang on, this feels familiar. But we got Robert Llewellyn showing his face as Crichton in human form. It was awesome for him. He was fantastic. Like trying to work things out. It was hilarious that he liked doing the same facial expressions, talking the same way, same mannerisms. The walk was hilarious. But, like, it was just so funny. It was so, so funny. Like, him showing the Polaroids to Lister. Not that Lister wanted to see. But, um, obviously, he was a bit mean to his spare head. Because it was all going to his head. But then we realised that's not who he was meant to be. He couldn't cope with the emotions and stuff like that. It was kind of just too much for him. And it just... It was... But it was funny. It was funny, wasn't it? It was so funny. And I love the bit where, like, obviously, Rimmer was trying to get... Find, find some DNA cat sneeze and then we got back lister was multiple different animals and then became a little mini robocop thing with a curry monster so good it was a good idea to test it it was a very good idea to test it just a shame it became a great big monster a lager defeated it lager defeated it what just i never would have got that because i don't drink i've never i don't think i've ever tasted lager and i'm not really a curry person I like kormas i don't do spicy foods so I never would have guessed that at all, but it was hilarious. And I love the bit at the beginning with Cat and its hair dryer. It was just such a funny classic episode. Now, like this one this week, I don't recognise it from the title. I doubt there's an episode of Red Dwarf where I don't know it once I get into it. If I don't, I doubt that I won't remember it as I'm watching it. But like there's been multiple already where from the title I've not, I've not got it because my memory's terrible, but in a way, it's a good thing, especially when I'm re-watching re for a reaction, like with Red Dwarf. Because as I said, I've pretty much seen all of them up until I saw the season nine, which is, I think, two specials. I did like a very big comeback. I haven't seen anything after that, and I didn't, I don't think I saw all of season eight either. So there will be some, like, towards the end of, like, that part that I haven't seen. And then, uh, obviously, after that, haven't seen any so once we get that far it'll be a new territory for me but there's still going to be multiple episodes where like i will get it as i go along i doubt there's going to be anywhere up and before that point anyway that i don't know like obviously off the top of my head i don't have a clue what this one is but i might get into it and be like oh my god it's this one obviously there are titles where i'm like i recognize it instantly and i'm like oh my god it's going to be this one because there were, I know there's going to be some titles at some point. Like there's a certain one that I can't remember the wording of it off the top of my head, but I know as soon as I see the title, I'll be like, "Oh my god, I know what episode this is." There's actually two, but I'm so excited to get into this because Red Dwarf is a nice pick me up. It reminds me of being home because I grew up with it, and it just makes you laugh, doesn't it? It's just so funny. So I'm looking forward to it. If you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick, you'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. That Lister under there, not well. I'm assuming. How are you feeling, Mr. Lister? Oh, much better, thanks, Crichton. What the hell? Much better. Well, you certainly look better. Far That's better. A familiar looking visual, but what the hell has he got? What on earth? That's gone down, huh? Almost interfering with the ceiling fan yesterday. Oh, that's gross. What the hell happened to him? In fact, you can hardly tell you've got space mumps at all. Space mumps? Oh. I don't think we're quite ready for a mirror just Honestly, the, the prosthetic looks kind of cool. I can see a little bit of an edge, but it's not too bad. Sir, what did I tell you? It's gone down eight inches overnight. Eight inches? Oh, my God. Did you bring my breakfast? Yes, sir. Hot lager with croutons. Just the way you <laughs> want it. That sounds gross. Get out of town, Crichton. I've got a head like a hot air balloon. Oh, like the human light bulb. <laughs> How many times have they visited me? 
bet he's got crying here. Does a rimmer's rimmer, isn't he? He's been on a rambling holiday through the diesel decks, a 10 day hike through the ship's combustion engines with two of the scutters. He said he'd pop by later and show you the slides. A rambling hike on the diesel deck, what? Have you really finished me off? I would have thought the cat would have dropped in. Though. Yeah, I've been a bit preoccupied of late, but with all this pod business. Pod business? What pod? Screw down my diodes and call me Frank. I wasn't supposed to mention that. What pod? What pod? Long Crichton, what pod? Oh, yesterday evening, we came across an escape pod. An escape pod? Ooh. A survivor of some space crash, apparently cryogenically frozen. Oh, yeah? An alien? The signs are she's in a suitable condition for revival. She? As far as we can tell, she's a she, yes. Oh, he looks so guilty. I love the fact that he's got a little, like, a medical... Like symbol on his belly. That's awesome. What do you think I'm doing? There's a woman on board. I'm on the cop. <laughs> Looking like that, he's on the cop. Really? Oh my lordy. Maybe could wear oh, he's head seen head himself head. now at least. Maybe you can stick us back in your head and pretend you're the Taj Mahal. Oh, I like Cat's outfit. Looks very prince inspired. But he looks fantastic. You could go double dating with the elephant man and he would be the looker. Hey, shut up. He all this time alone in deep space could have driven her insane, right? Quite possible, yeah. She could have been. Like who? I don't know. Like people like that me. That's right. She could have been driven insane. I don't, like... The visual of his head like that looks familiar, but the idea of a frozen person doesn't sound familiar so far. Misty, what are you doing up? Shouldn't you be in the greenhouse with the rest of the cantaloupes? And that's why he didn't visit. He's a dick, sometimes. <laughs> Is this capsule was ejected from a prison ship? A prison ship hey. of the convict's mutiny. There was a pitch oh. with only two survivors. One prisoner, one guard. The erstwhile Ms. Bellini. One of those two got into this pod and escaped. But of course you'll know all of this having familiarised yourself thoroughly with a black... So that could be Bellini or it could be a prisoner. Half-crazed, mass-murdering, super-strong androids. We thought it prudent to find uh, out oh. if the snake was in there before we woke them up. Uh, with respect, sir, there are oh. androids and their simulants. What's a simulant? Basic difference is that an android would never rip off a human's head and spit down his neck. Oh my lord! All you have to do is hang around here for 24 hours. Then, if you find your limbs scattered around deep space and your neck full of saliva, you take it as red. It probably wasn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> Great way to wait and find out, isn't it? You can't just shoot an innocent woman into space. Good boy, you can. You gotta be careful. Inside this pod is either death or a date. Personally, I'm prepared to take the risk. <laughs> of course he would. Contains the coordinates of the penal colony the prison ship was heading for. So, okay, and? Well, there's bound to be facilities there to contain any hostile life form. If it Have they not? Is there no, like, cells on board? They have nothing for people that were unruly? I'm surprised. If you don't go sub a program loop, you'll never get a subroutine. Yeah, we have a human expression. What? Similar, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, no, I think the android one is punchier. They both work. They both work. Ah, now this one. We reached this beauty on the evening of. Oh dear lord! He even dressed up for it. Almost identical to the one seven nine. But have you noticed the difference? See the refinement in the fun legends. As he zoned out, because I can't work out what he's pointing at. For a while, it appears my intelligence circuits have melted. <laughs> We're gonna get through them all, Crichton, if we take a second break. Uh, sir, that's a gamble I'm willing to take. Oh, poor Crichton. He's got a really good, good dead, First like... Twin... Oh! Oh! Oh, that sounded gross! Oh! Oh, God, I will not be showing that. That's making me feel sick. You better feel good. Talk about a weight off your mind. Oh! I don't want to live. <laughs> oh god, that actually makes me feel sick. Oh god, that makes me feel sick. I'm sorry. That was horrible. I will not be showing that. That sound was bad enough, but the... Oh god, that looked gross. Oh dear. Something's gonna go wrong. This is going too nice so far, and that voice does not sound that welcoming. Seriously? I can't wear these. I'm a hologram. That has been accounted for. How's that accounted for? Oh, she works on him. Fair enough. 
that looks absolutely hilarious. I really do love Cat's suit. It's so gorgeous. God, what's this? Oh, relax, sir. It's just a mind probe. Oh, no, a mind probe. Tutor was just searching our minds, presumably for any evidence of criminal activities. Well, shit. I wouldn't worry about it, sir. It's just a routine clearance procedure. Yeah, but this is Lister. Uh, Listy, Listy, is that a small sewage plant you're carrying in your trousers? <laughs> well, like scrumping. When I was a kid back in Liverpool, we used to always go scrumping. Oh, stealing apples, that's hardly a crime, sir. Yeah, but me and my mates, we used to go scrumping for cars. Jesus. Well, it was this one time at this hotel. Oh, lots of people take towels from hotels, sir. I took the bed. How do you manage to take... I would not like to be in your boots right now, buddy. Why? What do you think's going to happen to me? I do not want to know. Boy, I'm really getting the hang of this lie mode. <laughs> that was totally convincing, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, no, Lister. The human known as okay. Lister, despite a number of petty criminal acts, clearance granted. Really? Oh, God, Rimmer's going to be in trouble, isn't he? The hologram known as Rimmer He's not going to be cleared. Of second degree murder. Wait, what? Wait, oh, because of the ship. These sentences are to be served consecutively, making a total Oh, my God. 9,328 years. <laughs> but it's because of the ship, isn't it? Your willful negligence in failing to reseal a drive plate resulted in the deaths of the entire crew of the Jupiter. Shit, I forgot about that, but that, oh, God, I didn't realise that would count. Sentence to commence. Immediately. Oh, Rimmer! What about the body on board the ship, though? But what are they going to get now? Like, I, there's something about this that seems familiar, but it's not hitting me yet. It's not hitting me yet at all. How come there's no locks or bars or guards or anything? There doesn't need to be. The whole prison complex is covered by something called the Justice Field. A Justice Field? Well, like what? I don't know anything. Arson, try and set fire to those sheets. Okay. Okay. Go on, try it. <laughs> He's got his lighter, I suppose. Whatever crime you try, oh! the consequences happen to you. <laughs> Jesus. Nice example. He could have just explained that to me verbally. He could offer this rumor. He was probably entertainment for him. Try I'm with you. So if you nick something, something of yours goes missing, yeah? Right, try it. Okay. No, don't. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it either. It forces the inmates to adhere to the law. Once they get out, it's become second nature. I get that. I get that. What the mind okay. told you was your own sense of guilt about the accident. In a way, you tried and convicted yourself. Oh, really? Consequently, blames himself for an accident for which he could not possibly have been responsible. You're that sounds accurate. That I was innocent of negligence on the grounds that I'm a half-witted incompetent. <laughs> Man, there ain't a jury in the land that wouldn't buy a plea like that. It oh, could no, work. Half-wit, exactly. Um, more a buffoon. But how would you begin? Lovely. The case? Where would you conjure up the evidence? Uh, sir, providing I could have complete free access to your personal data files, I think I could come up with the outline of a winning case by lunchtime. L oh, way to make him feel good about himself. He held a position of little or no importance on Red Dwarf. What, he what, why is he not happy? Lucky, a zero, a nothing, a piece of sputum floating in the toilet bowl of life. Oh, gross. Yeah, never come to terms with a lifetime of underachievement. Oh, Rimmer. He's like the security guard on the front gate who considers himself head of the corporation. Oh, he's going to put, I know he's got to do it for the case, but poor Rimmer. This man who sat and failed his astro navigation exam on no less than 13 occasions. Hey, he's got, he's got to lay it on thick, Rimmer. He's got to. He's I got to do it. Witness. Okay. I wasn't sure if they were practicing or not then, but... Name? Dave Lister. Oh, my God. He even put on a tie. <laughs> Would you describe the accused as a friend? Okay. No, I'd describe the accused as a git. Hey, again, got to be honest. The person who thinks of him most fondly. I do. Oh. Shared moments of intimacy with him. Only one, but she's got a puncture. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't describe him as a man with a good social life. No. They've got to lay it on thick, haven't you? 
he was totally dedicated to his career. He was in charge of Zed shit, you see, and it occupied his every waking moment. That's not doing much for the um. I had a lot of important duties on the ship, but I guess our much for the uh, responsibility was making sure the vending um the case is it. Crunchy bars. Oh, crunchy bars! I want a crunchy now. Where the lack of honeycomb-centered chocolate bars might be the direct. Oh, God damn it! I now I want a crunchy. I'm hungry now. I want a crunchy bar. Uh, you may sit down. Hey, he's got to make it like that. This man to be in a position of authority where he. Oh, look at his face! Look at he's not the happy. So petty and small-minded, he would but away as the... as Crichton got his like, I don't think he can like. He's probably under polygraph as well, isn't he? Much respect and affection from his fellow crew members as Long John Silver's parrot. Objection! <laughs> If you will to your old counsel once more, Mr. River, you'll be in contact. Then zip it. Joker Don't go too man. far. You kind of make it in a bit much, but he's really going a bit far with it, isn't he? It's like, I can get it all out now. I can say everything I've wanted. The mind probe is not an adequate method of ascertaining guilt. Awesome. It's possible for you to have committed the crimes for which you blame yourself. Objection. Wait, what? So what are you objecting to now? I want an apology. <laughs> Oh, God. okay. That was it. Brilliant, Crichton. What can I say? You were brilliant. You even had me believing you. The way you twisted the facts to make them fit this pattern. Oh, yeah, he twisted the facts. What about, what about the woman? I do. Oh, no, she's out. Can I see your perfume? I doubt it. Oh, no, it's not the woman. It's the criminal. Me? I didn't think so. Oh. Yeah, you can see he's, he's looks similar. So a uh, android because he's got the chest plate thing. <gasps> Don't you go after Holly. To think that is hard. I like the music. You've got to get him in those boots. Get him in those. Get him through the, the thing. That would work. Get him through the, the um probe. I like the music. Which means they can't shoot, but that guy can't either. Get him to shoot at you, and then he'll shoot himself, wouldn't he? That's what you got to do. they got to get him to shoot it at them. Stand in the way of it. Go to shoot you, he'll shoot himself, wouldn't he? Absolutely. Don't, you can't shoot him, because you'll kill yourself. I love the lighting. It's really effective. And the way that was shot there, with them moving slightly in the background, and him there, that was... Really cool. Give me the startup code. Look, I have no weapon. Okay. Weapon no, because you'll shoot yourself. I can't. It's not armed. Listen, this is not a scout meeting. We're not trying to win best behaved troop flag. Gloop him. No, because you'll go after yourself. What, in the back? Of course, in the back. No, no because you can. It'll shoot. You mean you can happily kill him if he was asleep? I could happily kill him if he was on the job. <laughs> no, but you'll shoot yourself. I like that Lister's thinking about it, though. Come out and let's discuss it. He's probably got another weapon on him. I'm going to go and talk to him. Remember, don't shoot him because then you'll get convicted. How did he drop down when he was... I, I won't think to it too much. You have no weapon? But I think Lister knows that the guy, if the guy shoots him, he'll be fine. He's going to be absolutely fine. I lied. Go on, stab him then. So did I. They're going to beat each other up by beating each other up, which is hilarious. What do you want to talk about? Your death. It literally says, make my day on the side of it. That's hilarious. That's the thing. Yeah, there we go. He shot himself. I think Lister must have known that, right? Oh, for God's sake, Lister, really? What the is going on? You're in the justice zone. Can you not remember? Uh... Ooh. He's just remembered, hasn't he? Yo, matey, hit me on the head with this. Malfunction does not compute. Where are they getting those from? What are they? 
This is really funny, this book. It's effective. Like. No, cat, no! no. <laughs> oh, cat, you twit. He's hilarious. But I like the fact that I'm surprised it took Lister that long. But they must not have been paying attention when they went through the field, right? When they accept life as being basically unfair. Yeah. Like everyone gets their just desserts, made to heaven, hell, karma, reincarnation, whatever. Those guys uh -huh. feel colony. They tried to bring some order to the universe by creating the justice field. Uh huh. You have no free will. That's why in our universe you can never have true natural justice, guy. It's a good way to think of it. Yeah. Life by its very nature has to be cruel, unkind, and unfair. Thank God for that. What? Did I don't get. Why did they shut him in? I don't get that. I'm confused now. I must have missed something with what they were saying, but I don't know why they... That's a bit mean. But that was... I did like... A, um, not my favourite episode, but it's... I do... It seems familiar. I, I rem kind of remember it, but don't at the same time. I remember the smashing... The, like the, the little fight bit with the stabbing and then smashing over the head. I kind of remember that. But it's not as familiar and memorable in my head as some of the others were have been. But um, it was f I loved um Crichton going over the top with um stuff like. But obviously he was not lying, and he wasn't. We we'll just tell remember that he was bending the truth and over exaggerating it and twisting it. Just if it makes him feel better about himself. But it, I guess that was Crichton saying like basically like. I can say anything I've been wanting to say. I can be truthful. Ha ha. Because he probably, he probably couldn't lie as well. Because I'm assuming it, they would be able to tell if he was lying as well. So obviously, they could, he couldn't do that. And I wouldn't have trusted Cat with anything. He would have ballsed it up or something like that. Oh, done it wrong. Something would have gone funny. But that was, that was all right. Again, it wasn't my favourite, but it was, it was all right. It was at some funny moments, of course, and disgusting moments. Oh, my God, the head made me feel a little bit sick. That was disgusting, that the head popping bit. Oh, my God, that made me feel icky. Like, just the sound of it was disgusting. I, like, I remember the visual of his head like that. But, oh, God, that was, oh, God. That was horrendous, that, that moment. Like, oh my god, Ugh. Like, I won't show that bit with Lister and Cat all over you, obviously you guys with that, but I will not show it because it's disgusting. Like, and I know, like, that kind of thing might be something people don't like. It's, but that kind of thing I'm not going to show anyway. It's just, it looked too realistic. It was horrible. But, yeah, that was, again, it was all right. Like it was, they had some good fun moments, but it was not one of the like the oh my god, yeah, I'm so excited. It's this one I remember it now type ones, if you know what I mean. But yeah, it was a, another funny episode. Had some laughs in it, but it's not one I would remember that well. Like I'll remember the head exploding bit because that's disgusting, and the truth field, and also like not the tr truth field, the justice field with, and also like the bashing the bits on the head and stabbing and all that but that's i probably forget most of that to be honest which sucks but it's the truth but yeah it's not again it's still funny still entertaining if it was what it's red dwarf if it was on i'd still watch it it's not one that i'll go recognize what one it is and go oh god i can't watch that i'd still watch it but it's not my favorite so like oh I've not seen one Red Dwarf episode, I don't think, that it's made me go, oh, God, I cannot watch this one. It's terrible. They're all fun. It's just this one's not the one of the better ones. That makes sense. But I hope if you and Guy just enjoyed it, I'm, I hope you did. I'd love to know what you guys thought of this episode when you first watched it or now. But if you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again for the next one. Bye.